Hello everyone and welcome back to Lakeside and uh, I just thought I would show you this very quick video. Um, I've now got soil in the tipper truck and also I've now got soil and a few rocks in the trailer to give them a bit of load. Um, I've got a little bit of soil hanging out the back there from the, the opening um, just to create a little bit of realism if you like. <coughs> um, I'd just like to thank all of you for the comments yesterday on the um, video I put up. Um, <laughs> I, I, I can't believe actually some of the comments. Um, the whole point of yesterday's video was to see if that trailer and the tractor unit would go round the whole circuit around here and up obviously around the bus station area and do a full loop. That was primarily the object of the exercise yesterday. Now, <laughs> can't believe it. Um, some of the comments coming back were things like that lorry there crashed into the RAC band there which it didn't crash it just kind of skimmed but that was because I had accidentally moved that band while taking the lorries on and off the, the uh, road so it's got slightly out of position so when the lorry came past it grazed it, it didn't smash into it um, comments about this trailer here being too high, which I did mention for the canopy. Um, yes, I knew that, uh, which is why I mentioned it. That's now taken care of. It doesn't hit the canopy. I won't say how I've done it because I know people will say, oh, why didn't you do this or why didn't you do that? And I would have done this. So it, it just doesn't hit, okay? Uh, another comment <laughs> was this capping stone here was in that position and when I placed a lorry here I had accidentally knocked it. Now I have that removable so that I can lift this part of the board up of the road so that I can clean the track underneath. I know that occasionally when I do videos this capping stone is like that or it's down there. It's just part and partial of the, of the layout, you know. I have to have that loose so that I can lift this up. What nobody, as far as I can remember, actually said was, oh great. The lorries actually go all the way around without any issues. My biggest concern was will they go around that tight curve behind the bus station? Will the trailer go underneath the canopy? And will it go around this section here? And it did. That was the primarily the main reason why I tested it. So what you saw yesterday was the first run. Now, all those people who went to Getz, I bet you didn't go up to Pete Waterman and say, Oi mate, your building there, one of the windows has fallen out. Or something else. You wouldn't have done it, would you? But an old git up in his railway room I'm fair game, which fair enough, I can understand, but it annoys me a bit in the fact that I've worked hard to get all this going and yet all people can do is criticise about the lorry going over there, the capping stone coming off and hitting the RAC van. 
all these things are fixable and they were not intentional. The main point of it was did the truck go round the road, the circuit, and it did. So anyway, end of rant. I'm going to get this on this layout, I know I am. It just, I don't know why. I really don't know why. It's like people are looking at the minutest thing to criticise. I mean, there's a bloody great big bus there. And yet the lorry's past that, fine. It's purely because that RAC van up there was out of position. That's all it was. Do you need to comment? I don't know. Obviously you do. Anyway, um, I will show you these going round. No doubt I will get comments about, oh, the load's too high, or it wouldn't be like that. Wrong kind of rocks in there. I'll leave it up to you. <clears throat> the main thing is, it works, and I'm happy. Nobody picked up that that Belisha beacon is not flashing like the one over there. I was really surprised about that. So I thought I'd mention it before everybody else did. I know why it doesn't flash. There's a job to be fixed. But nobody mentioned it. So anyway, you saw the trailer go underneath the canopy there. Absolutely no issues. So let's see if any of the trucks hit the RAC van. Right, here comes the first one. No. Completely clear, and that's because it's now positioned correctly. So let's see if this one hits it. No. But it is doing the circuit. It is stopping at the zebra crossing, slowly and then stopping. Brake lights are coming on. That is far more important to me than saying about the capping stone and nothing else. Unbelievable. But there we go. I guess this is Facebook and YouTube for you. Stop that one. Oh look, it's going round, not touching anything, apart from this bit here where the back wheels go over the pavement. Who cares? That's what happens in real life. Okay people, just thought I'd show you that. So bye for now and have a good weekend. Bye.